This is Dr. Mazumder. I'm the Director of Stem Cell Transplant and Transfusions at the Oncology Institute. I've been here for approximately three years now. I used to be the Director of Myeloma and Transplant at New York University in New York, where we did a number of clinical trials in multiple myelomas. We've also, since I've come here, developed a number of clinical trials in myeloma, and a lot of the new therapies that have been developed in myeloma were as a result of a lot of the trials that we did. So it's also exciting to be able to do these clinical trials as international clinical trials in collaboration with such institutions as Dana-Farber at Harvard or MD Anderson or Stanford or WashU. So we have a good collaboration with major scientists around the world. So let me tell you a little bit about what myeloma is. Myeloma is the most common bone marrow cancer, and uh, that means that the cancer cells are born in the bone marrow, but they can go all throughout the body. It causes basically crab symptoms, high calcium, renal insufficiency, that's kidney insufficiency, anemia, or bone disease. And that's where the patients have a lot of problems with these particular symptoms. At the Oncology Institute, we are very fortunate to have a good group of physicians and nurses who are very motivated to take care of patients and, and give them quality of life. And it's been a privilege and honor to work with a lot of them. One of the things that we've done to support patients at uh, the Oncology Institute is to be able to do stem cell transplant, which is the old uh, bone marrow transplant, but we do it from uh, peripheral blood. So we get blood from the patients and that's used to reconstitute the patient after the high doses of chemotherapy, radiotherapy. So sort of like a bone marrow transplant, but using the patient's own stem cells. And what we've shown is that we can do this as an outpatient. So the patient doesn't have to be in the hospital. The second thing that we've done for multiple myeloma patients and a variety of other patients is patients who need blood transfusions or transfusions of platelets that are the cells that help clot the blood we've been able to do that as an outpatient. So they don't have to go into the hospital or emergency room to be able to require these transfusions. One of the trials that we developed uh, at NYU and then came brought over here is a trial with a novel substance, which has now become FDA approved. The trial basically is with a substance called Papaxito. And Papaxito is a, a substance that has a chemical group bound to a chemotherapy molecule. It goes into tumor cells and the normal cells can spit it out because they have enzymes that are able to deconjugate the chemical molecule, whereas tumor cells don't. So this chemotherapy stays in tumor cells and kills off the tumor cells. And so we've shown that this actually has effects in patients who have gone through a variety of different therapies. And so that's now the FDA has actually approved this particular agent. Basically, what we're at at the Oncology Institute is to try to make a, a patient's life better. And that means in terms of whether they need uh, transfusions, whether they need transplant, whether they need new therapies for their myeloma, we uh, want to try to make their uh, quality of life better and we want to make their life uh, longer and a more enjoyable life in every way.